Okay, so the price on these went up too since last year. It's a different brand again. They change the type every year, it seems. Uh, these last year were $12.99, and now they're like 20 something And we use the oxytetracycline for treating the bees. Um, That's spring and fall. Huh. Well, usually at least fall. Yeah. Huh. So can you explain why you use the oxytetracycline? So this stuff is mixed with powdered sugar, and I sprinkle it on top of the hives. And it's to prevent uh, two diseases, uh, European foul brood and American foul brood. If they get American foul brood, there's no cure for it. Uh, the only cure is fire. So you have to kill the hives and then burn them. Um, it's a rare disease, but if it's out there, if my bees come into contact with it, as long as this is still in their system, it prevents them from getting it. So it's worth the effort. you will arrive at your destination. It's just about full. Uh, okay, right. yeah. <laughs> Don't overfill it. This is way nicer than mixing it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And last year I mixed up all my syrup and it was pale, so.
700 pound barrel is a bit of a chore. I think that's good. Hopefully it doesn't swing around. George. So yesterday uh, we went out and picked up some syrup for the bees. I got 55 gallons. This is a 45 gallon barrel and I also got two 5 gallon pails there. I'm just uh, refilling the pails today. Here's a 45 gallon barrel of high fructose corn syrup. This is 55%. Uh, the bees really seem to like it. They suck it down pretty quick. So, there's that. Alright, I'll get feet, uh, filling the pails here. I made a funnel just out of a milk jug cut in half. It seems to work pretty well. And then I'm just using a juice jug as a ladle to scoop it out of there. Oh, whoops. Seems to be working pretty well. I got my smoker, so hopefully the bees are nice. They seem to be. As it gets later and later into the year, the wax starts to get kind of stiffer on you. It's tougher to get frames out. I usually don't go through the hives much in the fall, but for the video, it's kind of neat to show. Okay, so as it gets later and later into the season, the wax stiffens up on you and it's harder to get the frames out, so... I usually don't go through them much in the fall, but for the video I'll show it. This is where smoke comes in handy, but oh well. Uh, now the first frame out is always the trickiest. You don't want to roll bees or a queen. Good frame of root. 
Let's beat the bees and then it's down. Pack away a little bit of syrup. Just pollen in here. That's good. It's a good looking hive. Lots of young larvae on this side. So I don't know if I'll show it on the camera. Lots of young larvae in there. It's still being well fed, so that's good. They have a lot of fresh pollen coming in still. And there's syrup around the outside edges. Oh, that one got me. Looks good. See, regularly this would be all that I'd really need to see. Well, really in the fall I just pop the lid. If they look calm, I can see bees in there, they're fine. Um, if they're taking syrup, they're most likely fine. If there's a hive that's not taking any syrup, and the fall keeps going on and on and they're not taking any syrup, that's usually a sign that there's something wrong. Or if you pop the lid and they're all running around and roaring, or they're weak, there's not many bees in there, that, those are symptoms of something being wrong. But these look good though. It's a nice looking hive. I'll pull out a few more frames just to show on, on the camera here. No, I don't see the queen. gentle with the bees and clanging the frames around and it's just a good way to get stung up. This looks good. Nice brood pattern. It's nice and solid. It's not a bunch of empty spots. I don't see any signs of disease or problems or they have good nutrition still. They look good. Alright, next frame. laying lots. There's a lot of brood this fall. I went through a hive about a week ago and it still had eight frames of brood in it, which is good. It's good. More young bees going into winter is a good thing. Besides mainly pollen, it's good. Uh, these boxes are made to hold 10 frames, although most people around here just use 9. It's easier to get the frames in and out. If you're wondering why these lids are thicker, there's insulation in them. I built them out of scraps, so they're kind of shitty, but they're alright. They give the bees a little bit extra insulation. And they're free, so. Oh. 
die down. Here's some of the April Life fly that's left over. And then a little bit of antibiotics still left in here. I'll just leave these in here. They'll chew them up. Uh, I'll drag them out of the hives. Get a center frame out here. I always look for which one is easiest. It's not necessarily an outside frame, but just whichever one is going to come out of there easily. I think this one here. So, these. I don't have smoke today, so I have to work a little bit slower. Um, these are pre being pretty nice though, so. The smoke is handy for calming bees down, but it's also nice just to get them out of the way. Oh, shit. Take it out slowly. Ooh, what a beauty. It's a nice frame of brood. So. Each one of these little cells underneath there is a baby bee that's going to hatch out within the next 12 days. And each frame like this, like on both sides, when it hatches out, will turn into about two frames of bees. So that's great. That's winter bees right there. These ones will be going through the winter. The more the merrier. Nice. That's a good pattern too. I don't see any disease problems. It's all nice solid pattern. It's not all like shotgun pattern. It's nice and solid. so good queen in here. She's from this year, so and she should be good, but then they got syrup around the edges in here. That'd be the corn syrup that they're filling in. And then when this hatches out, they'll backfill that in with syrup. And this will be a box full of uh, syrup and a little bit of honey in winter on that. So on our side here, oh see there's young larvae. Or kind of older larvae I guess. So this is what it looks like before it gets capped over. They'll grow like that and then they'll... Ow, fucker. And then they'll cover it over and 12 days later it hatches out into a bee. It's all a really good pattern. The larvae is nice and white. It's well fed. No disease. That's good. So let's see the next frame here. I don't see my queen, which usually she wouldn't be on a frame like this. There's nowhere for her to lay. So. Inspecting a hive, you want to be as gentle as you can. Don't be slamming the frames around. Let's take it out slowly. I mean, also, you don't want to kill your queen. I don't want to kill regular bees, but I especially don't want to kill my queen by accident. It's yeah, by slamming the... Nice. Those are some good winter bees. These are in really good shape. They're a lot stronger than they were last fall at this time. They look way better. So, I think that they should winter just fine. Other side. I still haven't found any mites yet this year, and all the mite shakes that I've done, I haven't found any mites. So I think that April Life Bar is helping. I'll uh, finish off the year with an oxalic acid dribble just to kill off any stragglers in there that might be left behind. I think that's good enough. I don't want to bug these girls too much. So, anyways, that's what a hive looks like at this time of year. They're in good shape. One more frame. Might as well for the video. I'm not going to go through these hives much more this year, so I'll just show it and see here. I don't really like the feel of these plastic frames, but the queens always lay really good frames of root in them. They're kind of flimsy and I, I don't really like the feel of them. Oh, see this? They're filling in with syrup. It's like what I was talking about with backfilling. So this is hatched out. This was a frame of root a while ago. Now they've filled it right in with syrup and they'll cap it over and they'll fill this right up with syrup. And let's see what's on the other side here. Oh yeah, a little bit of young larvae still. A little bit of young larvae in the, in the center here. And then syrup. And they'll fill it right in. The young larvae looks well fed. Sign of good nutrition. There still is lots of pollen coming in, so I've been lucky with that. Alright, we'll close them up. These outer frames here would be honey, like, like these ones are most likely all honey and all honey. Maybe just a little bit of brood and 
you know, some pollen mixed in. So, that's good enough. We'll close these girls up and quit bugging them. Just try and space the frames out nicely, you know, so there's no big gaps or anything. I don't want to squish anybody either. It'll be like that for months, so yeah. Right, I'll just tap the lid down. I don't like squishing bees, so give them a little cap here. It doesn't hurt them, and it doesn't really piss them off either. So. Back on. I'll refill their pail of syrup here. We just finished our first pail, so that's two and a half gallons so far. But can you explain this part here? Okay, so here's where you fill it. This will unscrew. I'm not going to do that because I'll get all sticky. And then right in here, there's two holes drilled, and then there's a screen melted in. So when you flip the pail over top upside down, it'll drip out a little bit of syrup, and then it forms a vacuum in the inside of the pail, and the bees will only get it when they lick the syrup off the screen here. Then I got a feed hole just drilled through the, the lid in here. I should probably put a piece of PVC in here because the bees are chewing at the insulation a little bit. But, oh well, it was free, so. Uh, I usually like a two inch hole, but I think I just lost the bit or something or couldn't find it that day or whatever. So some of these are one and a quarter or one and a half, which they work just fine too. So, just flip the pail up on top here. It helps to have the hive level too. If they're tipped over, it'll drip more syrup out. Here is a dry pollen feeder. It's a dry pollen feeder? I should probably explain it. Yeah. So these can fly in here when there's no natural pollen coming in. There's a powder in here. I'll open it. I filled it right up because I don't want to walk out here in the spring and have to fill it again. But it's just this dry flower powder stuff for the bees. Uh, when there's no natural pollen coming in, they'll fly in and they'll gather this up like pollen. I've seen them in the spring trying to gather like pollen from wood chips even. They'll gather it from chicken feed, whatever they think is protein. So at least this is made for them and it's better than nothing. It's better than wood chips too. Yeah. Yeah. out of there and keep snow out of it. The way that this is made, it's shaped so that it's, it, rain will have a real hard time getting in there, or snow, will have a real hard time getting in there. It kind of goes up and then in. So I'm just going to leave this out year round. That's what most people do here. Alright, well I guess that's it.